Hey, it's Mike from Velo Duo Cycles again. Um, today I'm just going to take you through installing a Velo Iron Randonneur front rack. It's just a little rack for uh, supporting a handlebar bag or, or putting a small basket or something on. It's uh, not intended to hang panniers off or anything like that. Um, it's quite a quick job, but I thought I'd just take you through it, how you can fit this to a fairly standard bike. This is um, my mid-60s Sun Snipe uh, with the Velo Mud Guards and some Weinman Van Kerr brakes. Uh, so I'll just take you through uh, in a couple of minutes how we fit the rack. I'm just going to get the wheel and the mud guard off so you can see uh, how we fit the rack. Well we've got the, mug, the wheel off now and I'm just going to try and demonstrate to you how the bell orange mud guard is attached. It's not attached with a bracket like uh, most British mud guards, it's done in the French style. So uh, just take you underneath here and you'll see um, that it's held in by uh, a nut here. Uh, that hangs from something called a. Trying to get in shot. This hangs from something called a, a Daruma which uh, is attached to the brake bolt. You'll see more in a minute, so I'm just going to undo this nut and just drop the mudguard down a bit. So I've removed the nut and the, uh, the mudguard just dropped down a little bit on its mountings. And there it goes. And you can see the, uh, the screw here, which is actually an eye bolt, uh, which is attached to the brake bolt here. The brake bolt. So uh, it's a nice invisible way of attaching a mudguard. So what we're going to do now is attach the rack to that and put the mudguard back. So now you can just about see the uh, perforated metal strip that attaches the rack is sandwiched between the mudguard and the fork. So it'll be nicely held and the mudguard is nicely attached there. So uh, we've just got to find a way now of attaching the uh, supporting legs of the rack to the forks. With the rack Velo Orange supply the Daruma which consists of this eye bolt I told you about and it's it's the eye bolt that uh, the brake bolt goes through and some rubber nuts and washers. We didn't need those because we're um, we've already got VO my guards and they've got that so all we need now is the two large um, P clips that we're going to use to attach the mudguard, the sorry, the uh, the stay legs to the forks. Now I've fitted the P clips to attach the legs of the rack to the forks. It's never the most elegant solution with P clips, but it's very sturdy and uh, and it looks fairly tidy. So the next step is to make a hole in the mudguard so I can. Just put a little bolt through and attach it to that boss on the rack which will steady the mudguard up, stiffen the rack and just make the whole thing a little bit neater. So here it is with the Velo Orange handlebar bag which as you might expect fits it very nicely. Sitting there on uh, this device here which is called a Decaleur, holds the, uh, the bag nice and firm. There's a, a mounting screw to the uh, to the bag there so it's a very capacious bag ideal for touring you can see uh, there's a rail ticket when we uh, last used it on a tour from London Euston to Birmingham New Street so uh, that was when we did the uh, the Mercian Way so so here's the bike uh, it was used for touring but but now it's going to be kept uh, in uh, the little beach chalet that we have. Uh, there's something like eight miles of level promenade that you can cycle along most of the year. So uh, this, this bike will be kept down there most of the year to ride up and down there. Um, bags are necessary obviously for shopping, uh, fetching the ice cream and the beer.